What's up everyone? Thank you so much for joining. I can't believe it's time to wrap up the year again. I like to do annual recaps at the end of each year just to allow myself to reflect and kind of save off some key moments on what I like to call a metaphoric hard drive, which is this video. And actually while getting ready to film this right here, I have my 2022 recap from last year playing in the background and wow, a lot has changed, a lot has happened. I cannot wait to dive right in and sum it up with you guys. First things first, I started last year's video off with a travel section, listing all the places that I've traveled to. So we're gonna do that as well. This year I've traveled to Virginia. That's it. Watching and listening to all the places that I've seen last year, it sounds like I've literally traveled the entire world in 12 months. This year was a little different. I was supposed to do a couple of trips, but I actually made the decision to blow them off to focus on things here in LA. So I definitely set clear priorities this year and it paid off. I saw Virginia in April. I don't know when I'm gonna see it again. I don't know if I will see it again. It was a nice change of scenery, but that's about it. I made a whole video about it. If you're interested, make sure to go check it out. It was a good time because because it was a short time. I didn't really prepare for this video, I don't see a reason why I should, so I'm going through my camera roll chronologically to kind of remind myself of everything that has happened and everything that I would want to share with you guys because, you know, the most significant things remain unspoken for now. So what happened next is that I turned 20 years old. It definitely took my brain a couple of weeks to understand that I'm no longer a teen and I'm not a huge birthday person, so I wouldn't say that was a significant milestone for me, but it is entering a new decade, so I would say objectively it is a big deal. I turned 20 in February. I'm gonna be 21 in two months. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's move on. Of course, in last year's recap, I spoke a lot about moving out here to LA because that was one of the major things I did that year. Looking back, I cannot believe that when I sat down and filmed this video for last year, I was not even pushing six months of living here in LA. Now we're basically at the one and a half year mark, moving towards the two year mark. And for those of you out there who love to speculate, no, I still have not regretted it a single day. You guys, my life is just getting started. This year in summer, I also magically hit the being sober for over a year mark, which came very naturally to me. Also on this, I made a whole video on why, when, what, and how I feel. I actually find it quite interesting, so make sure to go check it out. I think that's a pretty great thing it's something that I am proud of. Of course, I'm not gonna stay sober for the rest of my life, but for now, I'm not really feeling the need to consume any substances at all. And when I do, then I will. When I vaguely went over what I was gonna say comparing it to what I said last year, I noticed that my YouTube channel turned two years old, which is insane for me to think out loud. I've been posting every single week for over two years now. So far, it's been a beautiful journey. I still enjoy doing it as much as I have when I just started doing it, and I have some exciting things coming in the new year. Another great thing and big thing to probably only me is that I received my first PR package in summer. It was also the last one up until now, but we're keeping our hopes high. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more one day, and it was fun. I got these super cute striped bathing shorts that I also posted a picture in and I will forever remember that because you kind of always remember your first time. At least you should. Something that I didn't really dive into last year was my art. Last year, of course, I created a lot of art, but it wasn't for anyone. I didn't cover it on my channel. I just had this general video about my art on here. But this year, I did get to work on a bunch of different art commissions for various different people from all over reaching out to me. It's been really exciting because, of course, that kind of recognition is not a necessity, but it makes you feel good and it makes you feel seen. You can't deny that. I did public interviews about my art. I did explanation videos about my art, and that's something I most definitely gonna keep up for all the future artworks to come. Maybe not the public interviews, just because I can't do it with every artwork size and it's a lot of work to film those and sometimes I would just rather do a different video, but I will continue uploading content about my art, share everything with you guys there is to know and let you guys be a part of the journey. This year I also started uploading singing covers regularly and I even had my very first public performances at the beginning of this month. Those were my first performances ever outside of a high school environment and they were actually in pretty respected venues, but I'll make a whole other video about that alone. This might sound a bit silly, but I've also noticed that it's now been over two years since I've graduated from high school. It's not a big deal to me, but it's very interesting to observe how people drift apart, how certain people choose to lose contact. I mean, I'm the number one example. I shouldn't be talking. I've basically alienated myself from almost 
everyone that I used to be around. But also that, I haven't regretted it a single day. And it's part of growing up. I'm just thinking out loud. It's very interesting to see. And I'm 20 after all, so the majority of my life I've spent in a certain social surrounding that I've chosen to broke out of one and a half years ago. And that actually brings me to my next point. Up until summer, I would say my social life has been pretty normal, can't complain. And then after summer or within summer, it took a very unexpected positive turn. Certain introductions through people that I've already been around have allowed my life to completely change within weeks or what basically feels overnight. And even though I was aware of it, life has really shown me that being around the right kind of people in a certain industry goes a very long way. All of a sudden I started being invited to lunches, dinners, casual hangouts, events, and even studio sessions or awards shows together with people that I felt inspired by my whole life, people that I've looked up to my whole life. I'm well aware that I don't share any of this on social media just because I like to keep certain essential things private for as long as I can. I do not feel the need to show off where I'm going or who I'm around because I cherish these moments a lot and there is a part of me that thought I would never be lucky enough to experience things like that or even be in attendance of people like that and of events like that. You can't forget I grew up in a very discouraged encouraging environment when it comes to everything I'm most passionate about. So it's been extremely humbling to observe what my life is slowly turning into because it's becoming what I've always wanted it to be, but it was always difficult to believe that I might actually get there. And I know most people thought that I would never get there or they still think I will never get there. Well, surprise, surprise. I've definitely had moments where I didn't feel deserving of anything I was experiencing because I also couldn't explain to myself what makes me so special to be included in all of this. Why do certain people want to see me get ahead? What do they see in me? Now, don't get me wrong. I think it's pretty obvious that I believe in myself and I have a lot of self-confidence confidence, but I never take anything for granted. So when something that's almost too good to be true does happen, but it happens over and over again, I'm like, is this really for me? Like, you know, it's, it just makes you hesitant because the truth also is it hasn't been my life for long enough where I can say, okay, this is reality. This is how it is. So I'm still getting used to it, but it's been amazing. With that being said, I am looking into 2024 with an extremely good feeling. So much is going on. Most of it is going on off screen, but hey, you can't blame me for having a life. Thank you guys for always being so supportive, for being here with me, for tuning in. It means the most to me. Have a great start into the new year. See you soon and take care. Bye.